Welcome back. Strixhaven draft number three. This is how you do it. This is how you do it. He said as he did it himself. Oh, tendrils of agony. Ooh. Excellent. Spiteful squad. 2-2, two, two, a death touch. When it enters battlefield, two, clowner, two clowners. When it dies, someone else gets your clowners. I'm just going to keep saying the way I said it. I don't think this is viable. So I'm actually going to... I kind of want to... I don't know what to take here. Spectacle Mage is sweet. <laughs> you better take that tendrils. Oh, Lord. It's just not a thing you can do in this format, right? I want to take this bird. We'll see if this does anything for us. Oh, Antibody just showed me that Day of Judgment is in the format. Oh, wow. What is this? Uh, choose a non-land card. Yeah, okay. That's not. 3-3 three, three Flyer. I kind of like Thrill here. Ogyar. Battle Seer. I like Moldering Karak after I saw the work that guy put in last game. Grinning Ignis, and we pass Tendrils? Oh, man. How stupid. I think I'm taking a Thrill. Ooh, Gift of Estates. Symmetry Sage. Silvercurl Apprentice, and 2-2, two, two, whenever you cast an instant target creature, it's plus one, plus oh. That does not seem that great, surprisingly. Actually, really wishing we went into Witherboon right now. Blood Researcher seems pretty great. I'm going to take the Blood Researcher. I don't care about any of these blue or red cards in this pack. Interesting. Three, three for five. When you cast or copy an instant, put a one one counter on a creature control. That's actually pretty good. Another blood researcher. Cast an instant or sorcery. I mean, we can also splash thrill. I'm gonna take man, blood researcher. Maybe I put a one counter on. Take the Wrangler here and see what happens. Containment breach. It is a lesson. I also like Owl and Shield Mage. Yeah, I think the Ogre is decent. Nope. Another Grinning Ignis. I think it's Containment Breach. I don't know what we're doing right now, so don't ask. <laughs> uh, Cram Session actually seems great for this deck. I'm really hoping the other ones come back. Two counters on a creature you control, their creatures get plus one, plus one. It's a sorcery, unfortunately. Target creature goes into structural, put a one counter on target creature, menace. It's a one one menace for one. Exile, unwilling ingredient. Oh, that's really sad. Poor guy. Right, biomath institution is nice, but we're not blue green <laughs> for the for the third time, unfortunately. I think actually just two four is fine. 
I don't think I want. I don't think it's worth the other white card. Three three flyer that they take three if they want to kill it. Sure. Other guy, kind of meh. As initial cost, you sacrifice one of our creatures and you copy the spell for your sacrifice. Draw a card and lose a life. So you're automatically drawing a card and losing one life. So if you sack one creature, it just becomes like village rights. Except you lose two. Man, practical research. Yeah, I don't think our owl and shield mage or shield mage. Cram session came back. So did spiteful squad. I'll take a spiteful squad. Another shield mage, probably passing on that one. One counter for one counter each creature you control with a one one counter on. Sure. I was hoping the blood researcher would come back, but. Oh, I like the land here. Oh, wow. That's pretty good. I think the artifact was also an option because... Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, it ramps us from three to five, which is relevant. Oh, ho, ho. wow, really? You're gonna make me choose? Like, I guess I guess Mavinda's might probably not that great. You may cast an instant Shut sorcerer from your graveyard th this turn. Draft and play all mystical archive cards. Wow. Okay, we'll do that next. <laughs> okay, uh, if that spell doesn't target a creature, you can eight more to cast. Okay. I'm pretty sure it's just Day of Judgment and no one's gonna No one's gonna see it coming. <laughs> wow. Choose a non-land, discard it, and you put a 1-1 counter on one of your creatures. As initial cost, exile a creature control, exile a creature or planeswalker. Hmm. At the beginning, <laughs> Mivinda needs to adopt me. Wow. Oh dear. This pack is actually not very good. Hmm. This is a 33 Vigilant, Vigilant Flyer. I mean, I actually think it's just the land. <laughs> When you cast this copy for each other instantly, you pass this turn, you may choose new targets, put a one-one counter on target creature against vigilance. Uh this card was insane. So we're gonna take that. It's definitely one of these two. No creature with a 1 1 counter on attacks. I think it's actually Tenured Ink Caster. Mavinda will wheel? I really don't think so. I mean, at the worst, it's a 2 3 flyer for 3, which is extremely good. I mean, just because the ability is not super useful and limited does not mean it's not a, a high pick.
curve is looking a little fat right now. Dramatic finale. Creature tokens get plus one, plus one. Whenever one or more non-token creatures you control die, create a two one. That seems really good. Infuse target creature gets death touch when this creature rises from the battlefield. You gain two life. Yeah, this card seems insane. <laughs> Two one when enters battlefield learn. It's actually pretty good. Another tenured ink caster. Closing statement, that's interesting. Um, that's so, it's weird that it's cheaper on your end step. I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> Lots of expensive things. She's a non-land, yeah, sure, we'll just take that. It's still pretty decent, I think. That's a late lash of malice that I will gladly take. I feel like we're gonna need some uh, some lessons in pack three. I don't know. I like. I never know whether to play. Actually, this does seem like a day of judgment format. If any, if any of them do. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, even if you pay five for it, it still just kills a creature and you put a point, put a counter on something. Two counters. Create a one, one. This is just a pest that learns. Yeah, that's fine. I guess the pest itself doesn't learn, but you know, the card does. May have the village rights. Three blue cards. Are there any lessons we can cast? Fractal summoning we can cast. In the center's battlefield, we search library for basic planes, real, put it in your hand, then shuffle. It's actually just fine. I think I let it go like a better than colony. I mean, like, it's just a two one that draws you a card and fixes your mana. Urza's Rage. That's exciting. Another Karok Wrangler. Another Ten to the Pests. Inkling Summoning. I mean, I kind of like Professor of Symbology, and I think we just have to pick up uh, pick up some some lessons. One one flyer for one that draws you a card when it dies. Snakeskin Veil. I'm gonna take this. I think we just need lessons. Thank you. Oh, Neon Tokyo with the resub. Who who even thought it was possible? I haven't seen him in 40 years. Or a couple hours. I'll just take this because it's a lesson. Like at worst, at worst, like it's double green and we can just cast it. Wow, three, four lands in this pack. That's pretty wild. Leyline Invocation. Arrogant Poet. How am I liking the format? I've actually been enjoying it. We've 2 one twice so far. Oh, 
I kind of like pest summoning, actually. That's one of the um, that's one of the lessons I wanted to grab. We're gonna return a creature with mana value three from the graveyard hand. Shh, yeah, it's fine. I do like this guy, but I think we want the pest summoning for the sideboard. <sighs> Emergent sequence. I don't care about you. Mage duel cost two. Target creature controls plus two. Then it fights. Huh. Actually, that seems great. Because we can play a spell, then play another spell, and actually uh, destroy an artifact creature. Artifact enchantment or planeswalker. Defend the campus. I think we're just taking. I'll take a squirrel. We don't have a squirrel yet, so I, I could use a squirrel. Fracture? Or which one? Or the the one that gets rid of an artifact, an enchantment, or a planeswalker? I think it is good, yeah. I think it's great. I don't know if it's great. It's not that great and limited, right? Because there's not that many planeswalkers. So you're basically just playing a card that gets rid of it's just basically disenchant. But I, I think in constructed format it's pretty it's pretty sweet. I feel like we have a lot of cuts to make, but we also have one, two, three, five lands. So actually we only need like two cuts to make. And that's alright. Yes, 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 yes. Mm -hmm. How many lessons did we end up with? Uh, one, two, three, four. And we have two of this guy. Uh, we could probably cut that. Like, we can actually make it so that we never... It's nice because you can actually play uh, a number of learn cards equal to the number of lessons you have, and then you'll always have one. Because they're not cards you'll draw on their own. Like, sometimes you'll have, like... I have four fetch lands that get forests, but only three forests in my deck, and then you'll draw a fetch land after you've drawn all three of the forests, and you're like... Oh, I don't get anything. Whereas like here, it's nice because you can actually just plan around it and have all of your uh, lessons in the sideboard. You know exactly how many you're going to be able to get. Oh yeah, that's true. You can actually always just, yeah, you can always, you can always just rummage. Yeah. Rummage. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. Um, I think that 2-4 is actually pretty decent against the aggro decks. Plus we have so much top end that I really, I don't, want, I don't know if I want to cut a cheap creature. I'd probably cut an, an owl and shield mage first. I don't really want to cut anything, and I'm wondering if that's just fine. So this is four, five, six, seven, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then four, five, six, seven.
I think we're definitely heavy. I guess we can check, right? Heaviest black. And yeah, black's the one I just cut from. So four, five, six, seven, four, five, six, seven, four, five, six, seven. Seven seven nine. I guess seven seven nine is actually fine. Old fashioned handcrafted mana bases, just the way Grandma used to make. Coach worth playing? Um, probably. I mean, like the thing is, it puts a counter on target creature, which is itself, at the very least. So it's a, it's a three three for four, which is just fine. And then the ability to put a one one counter on each creature with a one one counter is just pretty good. I think if it said put a counter on another creature, I think it would be significantly worse. States. Good times. Did they just draw did they just discard one? Okay, well that's a that's a decision, I guess. I'm not doing anything, so I'd rather keep infused with vitality up. Good old Shinna Twain. This spell can't be countered. It does four damage to a creature. This seems much better. Wow. <laughs> Take 10. Take 10 and like, can counter your spell. Lethal. <laughs> oh, dang it. All my hard earned work. Sheena Twain, the ancient samurai. Yeah, that's a good one. That's my favorite Twain. I just saw a tweet that said half the heroes in the MCU seem to have PhDs that they're not using. The whole franchise is a story about the academic employment crisis. <laughs> and that's funny. That's a good funny joke.
Oh yeah, we're doing the 41 card special. I'll keep this because we can cast this guy and that's, you know, that's good. That's good enough. Also, learn gets us the, uh, the green, the land finder. Environmental sciences. It's funny because these are named after like classes. That's funny. Uh, close you. Show me what you've got. Does it exile it? That player discards it. Whenever an opponent casts an instant or sorcery, you may pay two. Uh, that guy seems good. Don't actually care about that or the stupid phoenix. Seems fine. So I can kill this. I can play this. Flash of Malice. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Maybe I don't even care about this, actually. Maybe I'd rather kill this thing once they play it. Because, I mean, I want my moldering, moldering Cracker Rock to get through. What is this? What did you just drew a rare? 3-3 three, three for 3. Whenever it deals combat damage to a player, you may return a creature with mana value X or less, where X is the amount of damage. So, with mana cost 3 or less, it's pretty good. <laughs> As long as it's in your graveyard, if you would learn, you may instead. Yeah, right. hmm. Hmm. I think it's moldering Karak here. Followed by planes. Jesus. Deals damage so they can get the three drop back. Gift of estates. Oh, they didn't attack there, huh? That's fascinating. Trample and life linku. Remember, one more non token creatures die, could have one one, so it's a 3 2 flyer. Jesus, that's bananas. Fractal seems good. What can I cast this turn? Nothing. One, two, three, four, six, seven. We'll have seven mana, eight mana next turn. Did I play a land? Who knows? Probably.
I don't think so. I don't think Crackle's summoning. Oof, last planes in our deck. <laughs> no attacks. Was it three rares? This guy. Uh, this guy and this guy, yeah. Why aren't they casting this? Just thinning their deck. I don't understand. I don't understand why they aren't casting Gift of Estates here. What am I missing? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have one rare. Sure. Oh, it's a good bird. getting serious let's get dangerous uh it's fine b -b 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 bird You ain't never seen a bird like me. I mean, you might have. And I, yeah, I had a feeling this match was going to go the way we wanted it to go. You ain't never had a bird like me. All right, hold on. We got a content... Wit. Draft and play all mystical archive cards. <laughs> That's going to be bananas next time. I assure you, I haven't. I knew. I knew, buddy. Super Fritz, what's your status on, on COVID vaccine, buddy? Does this map just have ambient walking on linoleum noises? <laughs> uh, it's possible. It is. It is possible. Christopher, when was your appointment? Sunday at noon. Nice. That's so much closer than I was expecting. Oh, it's a little chicken bird. I don't think I care about it that much. I get to drive to KP over by what KP. Hold on. I'm trying to think of what KP would be. Oh, good. How nice. I mean, we're killing that thing, right? I mean, it's... 
Wait, what? Why didn't they... What? Did I miss it? Oh, I think I just missed it. That's so stupid. Oh, good old Kaiser Permanente. I can't think of what KP is. This is what a waste of a turn. That's really frustrating. But you're asking me if I'm serious, so I'm probably fucking missing something really, really super obvious. Is it Kaiser Permanent? I don't know what Kaiser Permanente is. I don't think I know what that is. So. No, I thought you were joking. I thought you just made up a word. I've never heard of that before, so. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. I don't need that. Okay, I don't want to end my turn. I want to cast this during my end step. Am I missing something? Oh, Kaiser Permanente is an HMO with their own hospital. Wow. I can learn something every day. Yeah, I guess I didn't know that because it wasn't relevant to me in Seattle. I feel like we're dead. Uh, target creature you control gets plus one, plus one, plus one. So one, two, three, four, five, six mana, huh? So this costs two less. So this costs one, one, two, three, four, five. We can make a three, three. I got my second shot on Saturday. Kurt, are you are you fully vaccinated, bro? I got the Pfizer permanent vaccine. <laughs> oh, solid. When I was a little kid, I was crazy for ketchup so much so, in fact, that I would put it on my egos. Gross. I get my second Pfizer on May 1st. Doesn't say on here. That's pretty good. Bounce my land, huh?
There's a lot of things happening right now. I feel like I always crush round one, and then I get absolutely demolished round two, and then I crush round three. Those are my, those are my experiences. This is like drawing six cards. Yep, all right. Oh, uh, this is not my normal streaming time, but I have been streaming more at night uh, recently. Let's bring a Tangle Trap in. Night streaming deserves a quiet night. Super fresh. Did you answer about your, uh, I got my appointment set for next week. Okay. Sounds good. Not sure all these people understand. Street light reveals a picture and nothing's wrestling. Thanks for getting this one stuck in my head, buddy. <laughs> night streaming. What does this guy do? Because Tarth sacrifice it. When it dies, lure. Whenever this attacks, you're gonna put an instant. 
So the bomber library, if you do exile the top two cards in your library, you may play those cards this turn. Pop quiz. Um, I want to take pop quiz and we're going to prepare to day of judgment. You got it. Probably like, oh, they got nothing to do. I want him to play this big five drop. Yeah, that's the one we wanted. Deserves a quiet night. Not sure if these people understand. Seems good. We also get to keep up Tend the Pests. Not sure if we're going to use it, but... Two, two, twos. Seems good.
Come on, token, right? Damn, this guy again? Do they have two of those? Wow. Seems good. I don't actually think that's good enough here. It's weird. Weirdly enough. No, it gives Anthonis to any creature token, which is pretty good. block here because we get a guy so it's actually two blockers and if we go to four I'm not really comfortable going four against them Jesus Christ draw two for four mana yeah that seems really good yeah every turn just draw two totally normal So if we go one, two, three, then we have enough mana to scry, which I think is important. I mean, I think that's better than this. Maybe they thought by doing that they would have countered the spell because they got rid of one of the targets. I 
And I have 11 lands. It's pretty good. And they drew two. Nice. Hard to compete with the like, drawing four extra cards a turn, I guess. Yep. I'm pretty sure there's nothing that can really get us out of here. That's a start. <laughs> Block, block, take four, gain life. Okay, well, they have a million cards and a million lands, so. They're at 11. They get to draw four cards, so. Fucking, how many bury in the fucking... Jesus Christ. Why would you wait till after I block to do that? I don't understand. You just win the game. Jesus. That's really frustrating. Bury in the books. Where's your... Oh, they might have been on the bottom, so I can go like this. Sure, draw two. <laughs> One, two, three, four, I'm not sure. Day of Judgment number two. Doesn't exist. See, now you're seeing why I love cube draft, because in a cube draft, you actually have answers to get out of this. You have multiple things you can do right now. In a regular draft, you just have to sit here and accept the fact that you're dead. I, I don't know. Can you? I'm just trying to. In life. No. Yeah, nothing. Let's just go to round three. Unless that was round three. I actually don't remember. I don't think so. How many more cards do they see? Like 400? I don't know, they have like eight cards in their library. So. I need a white mana, but I have faith. not hit. That's okay. We can play the Spined Karok next turn. Sure. sure, sure. <gasps> you got it.
Well, one forest begets, or one, one plains begets a second plains. But we do not have one plains. It's power, right? So, target creature controls plus one, plus two. So, three, five. Hmm. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. They don't have lifelink forever. Okay. Jesus. Five five death touch that puts five counters on something when it dies. I think our plan is to just chump block this thing forever. Also an option. I feel like if we play this, we just win the game, right? So it's a good draw. That's what's known as a good draw. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's just go big fat Alwyn. Or Alwyn out. Oof, is that a rare? No. Lifelink, Menace, 2-2. Two, two. Spells that you cast the target creature cost two less. That's actually very good. Second Owl. How much mana do we have? One, two, three, four. So we can play. Actually, is pests better? One, two, three. Yeah, let's do pests. They have a card that they can do something with, I guess. <sighs> Interesting. 
interesting. I really don't want to get two for one here. Judgment Day. You got it. I think we just want Fractal Summoning for the future. Really going all in on the spiteful squad strategy. Fingers owling out. If they kill one, they go to six. I think this game's over. No cards in hand? Lifelink, no lifelink, sure, no blocks. Okay. I mean, indestructible could be good. Tangle trap. We didn't say anything that tangle trap is really relevant against, right? So many creatures that are like ugh, the spiteful squads actually is like doing work against us. Uh, 
Uh, two professors and a humiliate? Yeah, let's keep this hand. This can easily find uh, the experimental, like the, the one that finds a land, then we play our third land, then we find the one that lets us scry to. Guiding voice, guiding voice, squad, disappointment, disappointment. Jesus. <laughs> I guess we take your... Fuck, draw two is good, though. I don't know. It's really... It's a real six of one, half dozen of another situation there. We're only doing this because like in the future we can't actually get by this guy. Like they're gonna put a counter on it next turn. They might not have another land unless they top deck to land. Wait, what did they learn and get? Don't we get to know? Wait, why don't we get to see the lessons? Am I, am I missing something here? Oh, they're, they're looting. Are they looting? Yes, they're looting. Okay, never mind. I'm a dumb dumb. Cause school ain't free. Wow. Indestructible? 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 Okay. Everyone has a That's a good draw. It's your boy Jimmy Owlton. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. We've done three Strixhaven drafts and we've gone 2 1 three times and got beat by three absolutely insane decks in round two. I think our deck's been all right, though. Thank you guys for watching. Slam the buttons. Subscribe to the channel. Do the things. Appreciate you. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.